I have been doing the Wim Hof method now for more than 100 days and in this video I want to share my experience with that because it has helped me a lot and I'm sure it will help a lot of you guys too if you give it a chance. who don't know who Wim Hof is, it's this guy here, also known as the Iceman. Over the years he has broken 26 world records for very different things. Among others he climbed Mount Kilimanjaro just wearing shorts, he ran a marathon in the desert without drinking a single sip of water and injected himself with an endotoxin just to show that he can fight it consciously and not get sick. No way! All this stuff he did not because he's a crazy guy who likes to do extreme things. No, he did it to generate attention for his method that he developed, the Wim Hof method, which is a combination of three things. A breathing technique, cold exposure and willpower. Now, all of this isn't based on some esoteric bullshit. I'm not into this kind of stuff. In many aspects it's already scientifically described and proven to work. It has already helped thousands of people fight things like allergies, inflammation, pain, anxiety, PTSD and depression. And it's completely free. In my case the reason I started with this is because in the last few years I had an immense amount of back pain. And Every year it got worse. In the beginning of this year it got to a point where I couldn't even walk without painkillers. And after months of going to the doctors I was diagnosed with something called ankylizing spondylitis, also known as Morbus Bechterew, which basically means that my immune system is attacking my joints and my spine causing me a lot of pain during the day and also while I sleep. Usually I wake up 10 to 20 times a night under pain and then I have to turn to sleep in a different position. So if I ever look tired in my videos, it's not because I was parting to hurt. It's because I basically never have a good night's sleep. At this point in time there is no cure for this and the only treatment there is, is to take immune suppressants, which I would have to take for the rest of my life, weakening my immune system. And then coincidentally I heard about the Wim Hof method, which is a natural way to reduce inflammation in the body. And I thought, why not give it a go? I got nothing to lose. Everything's better than taking immune suppressives for the rest of my life. It's day one of the first week and today is the day to take the baseline so I can track my improvement over the next couple of days and weeks. And uh, the first baseline will be how long I can hold my breath after the breathing exercise. You kind of pump up the concentration of oxygen in your cells and then you can hold your breath longer. On a biochemical level this means with each breathing cycle you reduce the oxygen saturation of your blood which triggers a couple of things. One of the most interesting ones is the upregulation of EPO, erythropoietin, a hormone known to inhibit the release of inflammatory proteins, meaning less inflammation in the body. This shows that you can actively influence your immune system just by breathing. If you're interested in more details about all this, check the description below. Now, back to the exercise. I was able to hold my breath for 1 minute and 20 seconds in the first session and in the last session, the third one, I was able to hold my breath for 2 minutes and 5 seconds. I'm also going to track how much pain I have during the day and uh, the quality of my sleep. Currently I have a lot of pain during the day. It's been like that for weeks, it's very strong. At the beginning of the week I was able to hold my breath for 2 minutes and in the last few days I was able to hold my breath for up to three and a half minutes. 
considering the quality of sleep and the pain. I have sleeping so good like I haven't in years. After this one week, this has already changed my life for the better. Aside from the breathing, the 10 week program starts with very easy exercises that get from week to week a little bit more difficult. Same goes with the cold exposure. In week one, you have to take a cold shower for only 30 seconds. And every week it gets more. For me, the hardest part was in week five, where you have to take a cold shower every day for 10 straight minutes. That was really tough. But what's the science behind all this? Is the cold really necessary? The cold exposure is a way to engage the sympathetic nervous system. And when you combine it with the breathing technique, it activates a region in the brain responsible for pain modulation. Pain killing. This activity also triggers the release of opioids and endocannabinoids in the body, leading to a feeling of high and a deep sense of well-being. So the cold really is your friend. In week 8 you have to do an ice bath, which I was not looking forward to, but it turned out to be not as bad as expected. I actually quite enjoyed it, because you prepare mentally for it. And then in the moment you do it, it is, it is nice. I thought it would be much worse, but it was actually kind of refreshing. What's great about this method is also that in a very short amount of time, it shows you how much your body and uh, your capabilities do improve. When I started with the Wim Hof method, I could barely hold my breath for more than a minute. Now I can hold it easily for more than four. Usually after the last breathing session, you do some push-ups while withholding your breath. And at the beginning, before I started this, I was able to do like 20 push-ups while breathing. And uh, now, after this 100 days, I can do 80 push-ups with a single breath. That's something I never thought would be possible. It's, it's crazy. I didn't want to get into too much detail of what's happening in every week, but what I can say after 100 days doing this method is that it does work and it helps a lot with different things. You gain mental clarity. After doing the breathing exercise and being exposed to the cold, you feel like your mind is clear. It's a kind of meditation. It did help a lot with my inflammation and the pain. I have now maybe 80% less pain during the day, which is an awesome improvement. My quality of sleep has increased from waking up 10 to 15 times a night to waking up just uh, two to five times a night, which is so much better. I sleep so much better. Still, the winter is yet to come. I have not had a chance to go outside in the cold. Cold exposure challenges are still there. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe I can get rid of this shit once and for all. One thing is for sure, I will continue this. Nothing that I ever tried has helped me that much. In the beginning, all of this, it was no fun. I hated the breathing, I hated the cold showers, I, I hated it. But now, after three months, I actually kind of look forward to it every time I do it. I'm looking forward to it because afterwards, I do feel better. I feel more focused, my head is clear, I don't have much pain. You see an improvement immediately. The Wim Hof method is something I highly recommend for anyone struggling with health issues that have to do with the immune system and also to anyone who is feeling stressed or anxious in their lives. I have gained so much mental clarity with this. I have tried a lot of stuff in my years, but this shit, it really works. If you want to learn more about the Wim Hof method, I will put a collection of links in the description below to his YouTube channel, his new book, and uh, to the course I did, the 10-week program. I have to say, this is not a sponsored video, 
I just think this guy is awesome and that his methods really have a positive impact on the human mind and body. I hope some of you who need it will try it and if you do, please let me know how your experience was with that. Any of you guys doing Wim Hof already in Berlin? Let me know. Maybe we should go on a winter hike this winter. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll be back.